Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, Listen and let meditation happen. Satna. Satnam 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 Radasu Ami Radasu Ami Radasu So Sansad Guru, self-existing form of truth, you remain always absolutely pure and undefiled. The yogis have abandoned their worldly desires and they have been focusing only on you.
So in life we have to make our choices, take our direction and follow it. We can be with one foot into shoes, doing too many things, because then we don't do anything good. We have to choose what we want to do in life. And if we decide God first and the world next, as Master Kripal decided at some point in his life, then we have to stick to it and try our best to reach the nearness of God as much as possible. Master Kirpal used to say that at some point in his life he had ambitions, he wanted to, and you know, when we are young we have ambitions. So he wanted to realize this, realize that, become an important person in, uh, in his field. So, he left everything for a week, he withdrew, and he pondered over day by day what I want to do with my life. Do I want to become rich, famous, uh, um, build up a career of some kind in his field? But then, eventually, he decided, no, no, no. First God and the world next. So he gave this priority to God's realization. And by doing so, he not only realized God, but he also became, in the same time, in the same way, uh, quite a personality and quite an important person in his work. So much that he had a, a office, I read sometimes from his talks in which he said there were 2,000 people under my guidance in this big office in which they were making the uh, salary and the pensions of the army people. So there is this saying that if you seek God first in your life, you put God above everything in your life, then all the rest will be given to you. And I see it again and again with sincere seekers of truth that if they give priority to God above everything, then all the rest is also given to them. They don't miss anything. So, we have to decide what we want to do. And if we decide for God first, then we must apply to it. We must conform our life accordingly. Do our spiritual practice and try to find the bliss, the pleasure of life, not from outside, but from within. So anyway, we go to a retreat for this reason, because we want to get as close as possible to God. We want to experience His nearness, His proximity. We want to boost up our spiritual life. And in a retreat, we do meditation. So this is again another meditation sitting that we are having. Let's try to be into it with our full being. Let's try to fully withdraw from all outside, from the body that we live there in peace, relaxed. 
We focus our surat, our attention at the seat of the soul and we keep looking steadily, minutely, penetratingly in the center. With love and devotion we keep calling on him by repeating the Simran. We avoid thinking of anything. We stick to the center. We keep repeating. And we pray to the Supreme Being to please be merciful. Come and bless us.